Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you all the different ways to close a Divi overlay after it's been triggered. And so, uh, there's several different ways to close a Divi overlay. The the first way is with the default close button, and so the uh, Divi overlays has a default close button up in the right hand upper corner of the screen and this can actually be customized uh, with uh, you can add background you can add padding you can change the color uh, and all that is built into Divi overlays uh, you can also disable it altogether so that's the first way to close a Divi overlay uh, the next way is with a custom close button and we'll show you how to make a custom close button we'll have a tutorial specifically for this um, but I'll briefly show you the concept uh, in this tutorial. Um, so that's the second way is a custom close button. The third way is by clicking outside of the overlay content area. So don't know if you saw that, but you can, I'm clicking outside of the area and it is closing. So that's the third way. And then the fourth way, you can't actually see it on the video, but is pressing the escape key. So the escape key will automatically close the Divi overlay as well. And so those are the four ways, the default close button, which the style can be customized, a custom close button, which I'll show you in a second, any, uh, anything on within the overlay can become a close button simply by adding the class close-divi-overlay. Um, and then clicking outside of the overlay content area uh, and then lastly, uh, pressing the escape key. And so those are the different ways to close the Divi overlay. One thing I do want to make note of with clicking outside of the, the overlay content area, uh, this particular template, which this is one of the templates included uh, with Divi overlays, uh, whether you got just the plugin itself or the all access pass, because uh, the all access pass includes more templates, but this one here is included with Divi overlays, uh, even the single purchases. Uh, this one has, so the section and the, the, the row is this area here. So the section does not exceed what you're seeing here. And then, so that means that everything out here is outside of the overlay content area. So it makes it easy. So when you click outside, you're, you're clicking uh, and closing it. Um, however, uh, if you're doing something like this, now this right here is technically still part of the overlay content area, all of this right here. So even though the main uh, part of the, the content is this uh, form, and then so this is a row with a uh, white background color and a drop shadow, and then the section we've added a gradient background and then some section dividers, but this is all still part of the overlay content. So clicking this actually does not close the overlay normally. Uh, if you're using this template, this is the July 4th template that again is also included with Divi overlays. We've actually added a fix for that. And the fix for that is by, and I'll show you in the back end in a second, the fix is by adding that close dash Divi dash overlay CSS class to the section. And that will make it uh, close when you click. But normally if you kind of custom create an overlay like this and you have um, some content, maybe like a background color or something like that. Well, Divi overlays uh, will consider that part of the content area. And so by default, it's not going to close the overlay. And the way you fix that is by adding this class. So I'm going to open up the section. So you can see the section here. Here's my background color. I'm going to go to the advanced tab. I'm going to go to CSS ID and classes. Now, if you're using this template, then you'll notice this is already here. I removed it to illustrate this point and I'm adding it back in here. But this is how you make that background area of the section automatically close the overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this here. Click update. And while that refreshes, I'm going to point out here again, the way that this template was built was the section and the row is this area right here. So the section does not exceed this white area. And actually the background color is set to the section. So that makes all of this out here automatically close the overlay when you click. So that's how that one is built. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and so, okay, now that that's refreshed, I'm gonna refresh this page here.
there we go okay so now that this one is here now it's hard to tell what I'm actually clicking on but previously before we added the CSS class before we added this anything I clicked out here did not close the overlay but now that I've added that class to the section now it closes it however when I'm clicking in here, because this content area has a greater Z index and I have not added the class to here, I can click in here and type and everything and it's not going to close it. But as soon as I move the mouse out here and click, it closes it. And it does that from this CSS class close-divi-overlay, as you can see here. I want to make that very clear. So that makes the entire section when clicking, it will automatically close, but it does not do it for this row where the content is because it has a greater Z index. Uh, and then the same thing with this custom close button. So this is another way of doing, uh, creating a, uh, or I'm sorry, another way of closing the overlays by creating a custom close button. So that's all this is right here. And so you can see here, close button. So this is just some HTML and you see we have the class closed divi overlay so there's several closes here that are used for the custom styling but closed divi overlay is here as well and so that makes it so when the user clicks on this custom button we created it's a custom close button so it automatically closes the overlay same thing with this right here on this template that is a uh, custom close button and I will show that to you here so close button you can see this is some HTML close Divi overlay and so that makes it so it's automatically closing however one thing to say is uh, you can make a custom close button out of anything um, we made these at using HTML uh, but you can do it with the Divi button, for example. So I'm going to add a button module. I'm going to just type close for the link. Remember, Divi wants us to have something in there. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add the class close Divi overlay. Just like that, I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit update. Now let's go to the front end here, refresh the page. And so now we have this button down here. Now obviously this doesn't look good, it doesn't match anything, but just for demonstration purposes, I can click that and it's going to close the Divi overlay. So anything that I add that CSS class close-divi-overlay will automatically close the overlay when the user clicks on it. So anything you put inside of the Divi overlay with that CSS class to close the Divi overlay, it will automatically close it when the user clicks it. So um, you could do the same thing with some text. Close this pop-up. I can do a text link. So insert a link here for the URL I'm just gonna do close just like that apply now I'm gonna go over to the text tab so I can add some CSS so I'm gonna do class equals close dash divi dash overlay I'll go ahead and zoom in here so you can see how I did that so I just switched over to the text tab so I can see the HTML and then I added class equals close dash divi dash overlay and then I close the parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and update the page here. So here's the previous custom close button that we created. Here's the closing text. And I click that and it closes because I have that CSS class close-divi-overlay. Now, I, I mentioned with the 
uh, the button up here that you can deactivate that in the settings. Uh, I'm going to show you on a different tutorial how to customize this as well as turn it off. Um, but those are the different ways to close a Divi overlay. Uh, again, just review the default close button, which you can turn off or you can restyle if you want. A custom close button like the ones that are built into the template or if you create a custom close button uh, within the overlay or custom close text, you just add the class close-divi-overlay. Uh, and then uh, clicking outside of the overlay content area will close the Divi overlay. Now, if you are using a uh, a section and you have some some sort of content or something sometimes it's just the padding will uh, will keep it from closing then you just have to add the class close dash divi dash overlay to the area around your main content so in a lot of cases like in this one this is the section here this is the the row and then the module and so we've added the close dash divi dash overlay css class to the section so when we click on the section it closes the Divi overlay. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.